What's up guys? What's growing on? So I want to talk to you about one of my favorite natives here today and I just saw an article about the top five natives to plant here in Florida and of course this one was on it. So this is native firebush and this is native here in the state of Florida um, also known as Hamelia patens and this is an awesome native to add to the landscape. It's a stunner. I mean it makes these beautiful little flowers on it almost all year long and it is those long tubular flowers so this will attract hummingbirds butterflies, beneficial insects. Um, it does have edible berries. I've only eaten them a couple of times. They're not very good. Um, but the really cool part about the plant is the leaves. So you could take these leaves and crush them up and they have healing properties. So if you were to get bit by an ant, stung by a bee, you could take these leaves, kind of put them between your hands, crush them together, you know, almost rub your hands back and forth like you're starting a fire and just apply that right to whatever that cut, sting, burn might be. And this is like my go-to. You know, I run right across the farm, I grab this, I put it on there, and it's like instant how quickly it'll put it out. So, just got bit. <laughs> he just got bit. You all see that here after. Um, and now we're gonna use the plant to actually help that sting. Gav, what are you gonna do with it? Tell them how you I use it. I am going to pick a leaf off. And now you're gonna crumble it up. It's getting all right. Now, see, he's got almost a little poultice there. It's getting moist. And what are you gonna do? You gonna put it on the sting? Rub it. Tell us when it puts the fire out, okay? Yeah. Usually, it does it quickly. So, uh, as Gavin said, it, it's actually almost fairly instant. You know, just a beautiful plant in the landscape. Um, attract butterflies, attract hummingbirds. But you know, if you get stung working around the farm. Um, you know, if you get bit by something, um, you know, it's been used for poisonous snake bites. So there's a awesome history around this plant. He was picking up star fruit and a yellow jack bit him. My dad ran to the fire bush and rubbed it on the yellow jacket bite and it actually worked. So that's a proof that you could actually survive a yellow jacket, <laughs> wasps, and snake bites, just like you just said. Possibly snake bites. I'd probably go see a medical uh, facility for, I would definitely go see a medical facility for a snake bite. But yeah, Gavin's right. There was a bunch of yellow jackets on a star fruit. I forgot about that a couple of weeks ago. Um, and I went to pick up some rotten ones and throw in the chicken coop and the burger got me right in my fingertip. It was brutal. I literally ran from, uh, you know, where, where we are, you know, literally whoop, right over here on the other side. Um, over here to this fire bush and grab some leaves off of it. So this this plant's amazing. It's helped me many times. Yellow jackets really hurt. Yellow jackets do hurt. What's the deal? I gotta say it really helps you a lot. It really helps you a lot. All right. Um, so make sure if you do want to add this one to the landscape, I would say looking for that true native variety. You'll probably find that at a native nursery or us. You know we keep them in stock. But there's a lot of dwarf varieties. A lot that have 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 been you know hybridized through commercial production. Um, that probably don't have you know that high level medicinal properties like you'd get out of this one So, you know killer plant for the landscape handles that uh, dappled light understory very well I do notice it comes kind of lanky So I'm gonna show you one that we just cut back that was probably in like that 15 to 20 foot range constantly constantly covered in, in butterflies and beneficial insects and Caught a little bit of the wind a little bit blew over. So we literally just cut this back yesterday this was a 15 foot bush. I left a little bit of brush on the ground in the area around it, took that large base of the hardwood out. But you know, everything we do here on Sand Hill Farm, we try to mimic nature. We try to mimic a forest. So, you know, if we do cut a bit of wood down or if we cut something back, we try to chop and drop and leave that material in the system. You know, this area, because this bush was 15 or 20 foot tall, you know, it had all this soil shaded out around here so there's no weeds so me coming you know cutting this big bush way back you know it's exposed that soil i'm gonna get weeds if i don't put something down here so you know this will grow back very quickly but i left some of that brush around here just to shade that soil just to keep it protected you know in the meantime while we're waiting on that fire bush to recover i'm going to show you a uh, a 15 footer and i'm going to show you one we cut back about a week ago maybe 10 days ago now that's already kind of growing back out. So these things do recover very quickly. Hold tight. You know, you all see that? That's a fire bush. So that fire bush is definitely getting a little bit on the tall and lanky side and it needs to be pruned back. And what we call that is a rejuvenational prune back. By cutting it back heavily, probably 75% of the bush coming off, it's gonna promote a lot of new growth. 
It's gonna rejuvenate the plant. It's gonna come back looking healthier than it did before. I'm gonna show you one that I just did, so hold tight. What up, guys? So, look at that fire bush. You know, this guy, all new growth. I just cut this back 10 days ago. Look right here. Look right here. You know, look right here. This is all new growth. So it doesn't have any flowers. Oh, 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 never mind. There's a couple flowers already starting to bud. Um, that's all new growth on the top of that. So, you know, typically about once a year, I'll cut that back like that. And I'm looking over here to this side because I see some more of those flowers. Um, but it quickly comes back out. You know, this is the plant that thrives on neglect. You know, that's what we look for here on Sand Hill Farm. I, I don't want babies. I don't have time to be out here, you know, giving things love and extra attention, even though I do love all my plants. And my favorite thing is, you know, my office is right there. You see the computer? Boop, right here, the fire bush. I'm literally sitting there and getting distracted by hummingbirds and, you know, butterflies out here right outside my window. And, you know, something I'll say too, you know, since we moved in here to Sand Hill Farm, coming up on five years now, when I first moved in here, I think the only thing we really saw were crows. They were really loud. They didn't even wake you up in the morning. You know, now, five years later, we have so many different species of birds. We have owls. Um, you know, we have probably three or four or five different types of hummingbirds now. When it started with just one, every year that's increasing. I mean, the, the diversity that showed up since we've showed up and started planting all these different species have just been unbelievable. I mean, nature's amazing. You plant, they will come. You know, we show up, we do a native landscaping, we do an install. You know, I should say, I should change the name of my company, you know, from Green Dreams, because we do dream green, to Nature Delivered, because it's literally like that. You know, I swear some of these plants, they must have Lojack or something. You know, we, we pull up, I open the trailer, I pull them out, you know, the, the hummingbirds are there, the bees are there. It's like, how did you know that was coming? Um, you know, you must have smelled it the second I opened the door. I don't know. We don't need to know all these answers, but I do know that this stuff happens. That's what's exciting. That's what's fun. So, hope you all enjoyed this video. So, all right, what do we have to say to these guys, Gavin? Um, grow firebush. Grow and firebush. It helps you get all of this things off of you and pound it. Pound it. All right, so like, subscribe, share. Pound it.